Hello and welcome to this podcast on the taxable capital gains tax framework. The purpose of this podcast is to put capital gains tax into perspective for you, where it falls into the taxable income framework, as well as how to go about in calculating your taxable capital gain. So the first thing is that you need to realize is that your taxable capital gains falls into your taxable income framework. So you will see after you've deducted your deductions, you then go and add your taxable capital gains and then you go and calculate the rest of your tax liability. So to calculate this taxable capital gains, you need to follow this framework. So you are going to go and calculate either capital gain or loss on every asset that was disposed of during the current year of assessment. So if there was a disposal, you will go calculate a capital gain. Now there's a certain way in how we calculate this capital gain, but before we get to that, I want to show you how to calculate the taxable capital gains. So you're going to go and add up all of your gains and losses together, then you go to something called your aggregate capital gain or loss. From that you're going to go and deduct your exclusion, your annual exclusion, and then from that you're going to go and deduct your capital loss brought forward from the previous year. Then you get to your net capital gain or loss carried forward to the next year. Then you, your taxable capital gain, well the net capital gain, if it's a positive figure, you will then multiply it with 33.3%. If it was a loss, you carry it forward to the next year of assessment and then next year you will deduct it as a capital loss brought forward from the previous year of assessment. Therefore, you will see you will never have a negative taxable capital gain. You will always only have a capital gain that you include in the framework. So let's quickly check how we calculate the capital gain. Now the capital gain is cal- calculation is done on each disposal of each asset. You're going to have a proceeds, you're going to have a base cost. So if you take proceeds less base cost, you get to the capital gain or loss. And then that slots into this calculation where you add up all of your gains and losses of every asset that you disposed of and then you apply the rest of the framework. Let's quickly go do an example. Sunflowers disposed of several assets during the year of assessment. She had an asset one, two, and three. We already calculated the gain or loss. And how did we do that? We said the proceeds less the base cost. Sunflowers have capital losses brought forward from previous years of assessment amounting to 2,000 rand. She says she has a capital loss brought forward. And then you are required to calculate the taxable capital gain, if any, to be included into her taxable income. So let's go do that. So if you look at the framework, if you think back how it looked, is the first thing is you're going to add up all of your gains and losses together. So asset one, we told you had a gain of 30,000 rand. Asset 2 had a loss of 20,000 Rand and Asset 3 had a gain of 25,000 Rand. Then you get to your aggregate capital gain. Then from that you're going to go and deduct your annual exclusion to get to your net capital gain. And then from that you're going to go and deduct any losses brought forward from the previous years, which we told you in the question was 2,000 Rand. Then you get to your final net capital gain of 3,000 Rand. If this was a capital loss, you would then carry it forward to the next year of assessment. But in this case, it's a capital gain, and therefore we're going to go and multiply it with the inclusion rate to get to our taxable capital gain. Now guys, it's very important that you understand the framework and that you are able to apply it in every capital gains tax question. So follow the framework, calculate the capital gain on each asset, add them together, deduct the losses deduct your annual exclusion, then multiply with the inclusion rate if it is applicable.